And so the first thing we're going to talk about here is, uh, as we go into logical architecture, is uh, refining and defining the actors and entities um, that we have, and also uh, incorporation of logical components. So let's go back and we'll look at the model and we'll start this process. So here's the, the model that we are working on for this campground. Uh, we'll briefly go back and take a look at what we reviewed and what we created for uh, this change for um, the camp operation that we want to have. Uh, so we basically have created this new operator here. Uh, and the operator wants to be able to receive location and receive status uh, from the charger that's, that's out there. You know, that's basically part of the system. Um, and that's the operational activities of it. Uh, if we go to the system analysis of this uh, operator, where we did a little more detail, we see that we, the trail power is the thing that's going to be sending the status and receiving the status and providing location. And we, again, the operator is uh, it here. Uh, there's some little some constraints that are kind of important here. The operator would oversee 1 to 100 trail power systems. That's a pretty uh, large number. So it kind of means that we're going to have to do something a little differently uh, as far as keeping track of these. It's not an individual unit. Uh, the operator won't want to be able to have to keep track of 100 units. We need to have some way for the operator to do that. Uh, and we also uh, have ideas of expectations of performance, but that's not really changing much from what we had before. So basically, this is the new operator uh, view. So now, what, because we're going to redefine the actors uh, that we have in this phase, we're going to define those in the logical phase, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that process of transitioning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition uh, these objects. So I'm going to transition this actor to a, a, basically an external actor. Uh, and since I'm in the system analysis phase, it's going to create I'll create that actor in the logical phase. And see, it pops up, and it, it says, uh, here's the operator that's going to bring over. And you also see the, the functions are coming over and the connections, the exchanges. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit Apply. If you hit OK, it won't do anything. So you have to hit Apply, and it basically goes and will create those uh, on this capability. So I basically just did these transitions. So I did the transitions from the system actors and entities and brought them over. And now I'm going to go over and look at the next part. I'm going to look at defining the logical components, any components that are needed. So I'm going to go and create a new diagram in this phase, and we'll start working that part of it. Now I'm going to go to logical architecture, and I'm going to have these that were the existing ones. I have this one diagram that has a lot of content on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll take that one, I'll clone this one. Okay, there's the clone. Uh, and then I'm going to basically change it. I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to put in change for operator. Okay, so I'm going to open up that one. Okay, so this is kind of the view that we have now. Now notice there's, this is the existing view of the system. And we're going to introduce this new operator. So here's the trail power system. I have it lightened up a little bit white in the background. So it's the trail power. And these are all the things that are in the system. And these are the components that make up of trail power. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over that actor that we had. So I'm going to use the insert tool to basically find the actor. actor. So I'm going to bring that in. Um, and I brought the operator actor into the system. And let's stick the operator up here for now in this area. So now the operator uh, is there. And now I'm going to start thinking about, well, how am I going to design this system? I, I've got the operator. And I have this telemetry system. That's pretty cool. I mean, I have telemetry. But the issue with telemetry is it's this telemetry is designed for one unit. It's not designed for a number of units. You've got to remember that constraint where the operator is going to be dealing with 1 to 100 unit. So the trail power system has to change pretty dramatically to be able to meet the needs of this new, uh, this new constraint that we're going to have. And uh, so let's even see if I'm going to add that constraint in here. Um, see if we can find that constraint Let's see it here okay so i'm going to add the new i'm going to carry that constraint across that we had is we've got to basically have uh, one to 100 uh, users uh, 
units. Let's just take that constraint. I'm going to add it onto here, and I'm going to constrain uh, the operator to basically doing that. So, uh, so to do this, let me see. Well, some of this stuff we really don't need to be worrying about for this particular part. Uh, so let's see how we can do this. So we'll, uh, may, I may decide to hide some of the content here or make it bigger. But for right now, let's take off some of these functional chains. We don't need those because they're not really relevant to what we're doing here. So I'm going to take them off, make it a little less busy. And I'm going to move this USB device over because that's going to pretty much stay the way it was. And I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to just kind of move things around a little bit to make some room. I mean, what we're doing is similar to telemetry. So what I'm thinking is, is maybe the telemetry system has to be modified in some way so that it's actually interacting. So what I think it may, one possible uh, solution here, uh, and I say possible because that's really what this phase is about, is about thinking things out. So I'm going to add in here some type of uh, uh, server that basically monitors or basically keeps track of the chargers. So let's put in here um, uh, charger uh, tracking system. So we're going to add that in here. And the charging tracking system is going to be here. So now let's take the so this basically, I think, is what we're going to introduce as my component. I can't think of anything else right now, so we'll stop here for this phase, and I'm going to have this new tracking system in here, and we'll go on to the next step of basically working with the functions.